So what is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to Tech Karen YouTube channel most of the users were looking for the play protect certification you probably saw that your device is not showing as certified and this happens if you're using a custom room on your device doesn't matter if you are using which kind of custom room for example I'm taking a MIUI 12.5 China beta as an example on my Redmi Note 8 if you don't know if you use the Chinese room on your devices for example I'm using Redmi Note 8 here you will not get the device certification by default but let me show you one more thing i'm using the magisk latest version here which is maybe magisk 21.22.1 actually i've installed it on my device and by default i'm getting this safety net api error i'm gonna share with you whole options whole answers of all of your questions that first of all we have this api error we need to solve this error how we can solve that i already made a dedicated video on this one but i will show you whole process in this video so stay tuned for that so you simply need to search magic scannery github or you can find out my video there and you can get that link and install that apk i'm just doing this whole step right now it should not take much time simply search for it magic scannery github open the website here you need to install this magic scannery apk file click on ok i don't think so it should take more time as expected and it should be done it's done simply open this apk and install this app on your device first i am installing it right now installed successful click on open and after opening my this latest magisk version now you will not see the api error let me show you by going into safety net status it is not showing as api error it is now showing as attestation failed now the first process is done the second step which we need to do is you need to use the magisk hide option but before hiding the magisk in the settings we need to install a magisk module to pass everything which is the magisk module which i'm talking about right now it is called magisk hide props config you can find it in the recent modules and this is updated on just some days ago so you will find it very easily or you can simply search it in the magisk app you will find that very easily it will take some time to install on your device so just wait for the installation to finish and after the installation i will show you that which are the things you need to do it will take some bit of time as you can see it will create the fingerprint files and these are the files which we need to edit it's done simply move on to your settings of magisk setting enable the magisk hide simply reboot your device this is the main step which you need to follow let me just reboot we have just rebooted our device and after reboot let me show you by going into magisk manager on my device and let me show you if my safety status is now passing or not by default in some custom rooms after just applying this step safety status should pass but in this china beta room some chinese rooms you will still not see the safety status pass which means the attestation is still failed so now as you can see i already have enabled the magisk hide option but we already have installed this module which is called magisk hide props config so as we have installed this module the other step which we need to follow is simply move on to your google play store like this open a google play store here we need to search for an android app called termux which is a terminal emulator for your device and that is actually very necessary simply search for termux you will find it very easily click on this search icon and here it is this is termux which is maybe around 18 mb so just install this termux on your device it should not take much time expectedly so let me just wait and install this termux app right now on my device and this is the main step as i previously mentioned you it will just edit your device fingerprint which is the main step you need to edit a device fingerprint to pass the safety net status on a device and this guide should work almost on every device i'm pretty sure it should work let me show you as i'm using magic miui 12.5 i'm using android version 11 it's just working perfectly fine with the latest MIUI China beta Android 11 so don't worry about that it should work definitely fine on your device also just open termux file on your device and after opening termux file as you can see we need to write SU first of all why we need to write SU because to grant root permission this is the main step we need to grant root permission to termux app so simply type SU click on enter it will ask for the root permission simply click on grant here you will see some options what we need to write is P R O P S just make sure to write as it is which is called props just click on enter and you will see this kind of options it will just check out the fingerprints checking everything etc etc we have all these options present there what we need to choose is the first one which is called edit device fingerprint click on ok 
here we have other options we need to use the f option which is a pick a certified fingerprint make sure to follow the on screen instructions click on f click on enter and here we have all the supported models right now i'm using redmi note 8 here so we need to choose the xiaomi which is at 30 click on ok we have all those xiaomi models available there where this fingerprint is available make sure your device is in the list i'm using redmi note 8 here so we need to choose is the latest option which is 83 for my redmi note 8 here we have this android version 9 android version 10 so as you already saw i'm using android version 11 here this is not available there i'm gonna choose android version 10 i will show you everything should work fine we need to choose y which is yes we need to click on y we need to type y click on enter it will just take a little bit of seconds working please wait it's done we simply need to reboot our device now which is our main step so just click on ok reboot your device it will take some time after rebooting let me show you what you will see and how it will work we've just rebooted our device right now and let me show you that how it is working and if it is working or not just open your magisk right now we already have changed the fingerprint which was the main step behind this after opening magisk on your device you will see the check safety net option click on check safety net it will take some bit of time and then you will see the success message like this so finally the first step is done the safety net status is now passing you will be able to use the banking apps on your device you will not face any kind of issues and this plays an important role on all of your devices if you're using a custom room because this issue occurs if you use custom room on a device doesn't matter if you're using MIUI, if you're using aosp based rooms but most of the rooms have this kind of issue let me show you once again and yes it is just working perfectly fine the safety net status is just working good success message success message is showing there but let me show you by going to google play store which this video is about that device is certified or not so just open here about you will not see any kind of option there by default but let me show you what you need to do is simply hold the play store icon from here click on app info here we need to go to the clear data option this is the main and important step make sure to watch this video just clear the data and now just open google play store once again on your device you don't need to reboot we already have rebooted or you can try rebooting once again it's just up to you i'm not gonna reboot it right now as you can see just simply move on to your settings and here we still don't have the device certification related things so you simply need to wait for some minutes if you will if you'll not see this option you'll need to wait some for some minutes you can watch the time on my status bar right now it's 8 24 am i will just show you that it will work definitely fine within one minute or maybe in two minutes you will see the device certification related things if my device is certified or not make sure to watch this clock on my status bar so you will not see that you will not say that the video is fake it is properly right as you can see it's 8 25 am let me pause and start this as you can see we have the device is certified option present there and let me show you one more thing as you can see the time on my status bar is 8 26 am my device is showing as certified and yes it is actually done it is successfully passed device certified safety status is passing this is all from today's short and simple video i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me goodbye Like I'm floating through the air